Hey everybody, this is Mon Retro Gamer. Uh, let's attempt. No, let's play Pokemon Yellow. And uh, we just found TMO5 within uh, like 10 seconds to start the video, so I think we're off to a good start here. And um, basically, we're in Victory Road. We have done about half Victory Road so far, and there's another half to go. Uh, that includes a bird that we saw up earlier in the last episode um i suspect it might have something to do with articuno and zapdos i don't know what's it gonna be called it's like fire it's like ice and electric what's next a fire type some molten it's like uno dos tre moltre oh wait that's a, that is a pokemon okay yeah it's gonna be that oh who'd have thunk it and who'd have thunk I'd get interrupted so often in my introductions? If you don't mind, I need to murder this Geodude. Right, Geodude murdered. Now, let's... Come on, guys. Is it really that bad? Is it really? Right, okay. So... And there's a trainer here. Cool. Come on, I'll whip you! Um... Uh, I, I, I don't do that. You... Okay, the juggler has a horizontal line for a mouth. You have horizontal lines for eyes. I don't know which is worse. Honestly, I think the juggler... But considering your Persian just bit my Hypnon in the shin, uh, I am sort of leaning towards you as well. As being a bit of an irritant. Because, like, I don't see any other Pokemon biting. Biting Hitman's leg? Except yours. You know? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that for my Pokemons. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Hmm? Do you? Do you? I bet you do. Because you know that I would go to town on you. And it's a gold duck. Is that part psychic? Let's test it with a psychic. Hmm, I wonder where that name was thought up. And... It's not part psychic, but it's not immune. But it's not uh, super effective either, so it takes two psychics to take out the Golduck. Um, obviously. And the Hypnon. Hypnon still hasn't leveled up. Even after facing a Golduck. And a Persian. But, uh... I keep saying Persian. Is it Parasite or Persian? I got whipped. Well, I don't swing that way either. No more room for items. Right, Sparky, you know how you, like, have very little HP? Well, you're not getting any more. Uh, I'm gonna give it to... Um, in my experience, the Psychic type who's delicate We'll need it more. So, uh, yeah. It's a full heal! Good in case I ever get damaged. Which I don't plan to do. And there's another item here. Is Victory Road too tough? Honestly, I'm not sure. I just got programmed to stand here and I haven't seen anything around the corner. And it's a Mr. Mime at level 48. My word. That's relatively powerful, if only... Oh, and it used Substitute. And a Substitute looks horrible in that form. And Substitute broke. And it's just Double Slap. So I need a Headbutt. Oh, it's critting me with Double Slap. Critical hit double slaps. And a critical hit headbutt. And another. Oh, it's so, so close to dying. Too weak to make a substitute. Boom! Take that. Headbutt. Level 43. Oh, yeah. And try and learn meditate. What does Meditate do? I don't know. I want to check, because I don't want to have another Skull Bash on my hands. 
Right, I just researched it, and we don't want it. It raises the attack of our special specialist, Hypnon. We don't need that, and thus we won't use it. So, yeah. Basically, the idea now is we explore the rest of this floor. Well done. Thank you. And uh, no more room for items again. Am I going to have to toss my full heal already? Or my TMO5? Ah, eh, toss the full heal. Yeah. Could be worse. It's another TM. Great. We're going to have to do some TM throwing away soon. Right, at the start of this level, there were some stuff that we could do. And I need to fix the team before I move anywhere else. Right, one and a half episodes in, and we are already... And I do seriously mean we're already, uh, done a full 360 on, um... Just what is up there? What is up there? I want to know that. I want to know that. Get out of the way, Geodude. Right. Anyway. What's up here? How do... Right, we can't get up here from this side. Okay, so we have to use the ladder that's over there. And then we have to, from there, um, whatever's upstairs. The old bash. Right. Back again. We're gonna have to go up the ladder that is so close, but yet so far because of all the Pokemon. And it's so close, yet so far. And that. Uh, really? Like, four steps. Four steps. This is honestly getting a little bit ridiculous that there's this much in such a small space. So, up here, we have to go, obviously. And now this looks a bit more puzzly. Um, so I'm not entirely looking forward to it. Um, wild Pokemon still... And it's a machoke, oh my word. Right, is there right? Okay, that's blocked, so we have to fight. At the very least, let's just fight this trainer. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. Well, I, I don't agree with, I don't disagree with you there. But I'm just wondering why you felt the need to say it. I mean, it's obvious that we're gonna do our best to find people that are stronger than us and do our utmost to beat them. And I'm gonna use the uh, normal type. Oh no, Spore. It sent us to sleep. And I threw my, my full heal earlier. So, um... Sleep. Wait, and I can't do anything? No, 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 no. No! Oh! Oh, Plantorus! Would you be so kind as to tank a couple of hits while I heal Aquos? Because just Aquos needs revenge after that, and you're not gonna last long out there, man. Um, honestly. He's not gonna last long at all! I need to send Aquas out now. <laughs> Might only have half health, but it's more than Plantorus will do. Don't affect him. Don't. No. Items. Hyper Potion. On Aquos. Then, my secret weapon against sleep. Go! Poke Flute! That was useful. Now I'm paralyzed. Poke flute won't help with there. Time to use the skull bash. And hopefully it's only doing like 10 health per turn. That's not too bad. Aquas Lord's head. It's a slash. It's going to do a bit of damage. Or critical. Skull bash. Did it do a lot of damage? No. Well, thanks. What a great move. What a great move. 
Akos, you really picked a humdinger of a battle. Probably gonna do more against just using Bice. If the Parasect's leech life wouldn't keep. Right. I'm sending in the nuke! Torture. I give you express permission to go nuts on this thing. It's bug grass, so you should have plenty easy time using fly. Because that thing was just annoying me way, 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 way too much. Honestly. Just, just pushing me. Pushing me there. So, gone too far this time. It's a jugong. And Aquos is in no fit state to deal with it, so... Sparky? It's water ice. That's a good enough mix-up for you. If you can be bothered to hit it. Which is a slightly minor complaint I've been having recently, where you're not hitting the target. Sparky? Of all the Pikachus, you are the one that is least hitting their sales target this month. What do you have to say for yourself? Pika P? No. Not even point P on the sales chart. Now it's a Chansey. Will I change Pokemon? Yeah. Aquos can handle a Chansey. Look at it. It's adorable. And thus liable to eat your face. And it used Minimize, so it's really evasive, and it's going to make me miss a whole lot, and Double Slap. Which really does... It's called Double Slap, it should only hit twice. Hit three times. What is this? Bad naming week? It's the tiniest Chansey sprite. Alright, I'm going to try Bite. I think chances of low defense. And now it's doing three damage, as opposed to two. Right? Oh, that's a lot more damage with Bite than Surf. And you think Bite would do less. And it's lowering my attack because it knows I'm going to try to bite it. Thing is, I'm still going to manage to kill it as long as I hit it one more time. Oh, come on, guys. That's not too hard to do, is it? Is it? Yes, it does. It is seemingly very hard to hit the Chansey. And I'm surprised. I don't understand why it's so hard to hit the Chansey. Come on, it's, it's just a Chansey. It is just a Chansey, Aquos. Thank you. Thank you, Aquos. Who is now level 43. And gets to go to the back of the party while Plantaurus has to deal with whatever comes next. Hopefully it's nothing that'll expose any glaring weak points. Uh, oh, it's thin air. Oh no, th air is flying type. Oh, so strong. Thank you. By fighting tough battles, you get stronger. I know that. Already. Right, I healed Plantorus. He's at the front of our party. Uh, there's not much we can do around here. Except fight the local fauna. Right, I'd say what we're going to have to do is... Oh, there's a trainer over there. We should probably fight him. After that, though, I think we're going to have to deal with whatever puzzles exist on this floor. If you don't mind, I have to kill a Golbat. I decided not to kill the Golbat because it was about to use, uh, it used Supersonic on me. That would have been dangerous. And it's a Machoke. Oh my. Oh my, yay, 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 yay. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Right, okay, that wasn't too bad of a fight. Hello! I heard rumors of a child prodigy. <laughs> Those aren't rumors. That's me, called Gary Oak. Gary! Gary, you have something to talk to me about! Poison. 
Okay, I just sent it to sleep, or it sent me to sleep, and I poisoned it. This is gonna be interesting status fight. Status fight. Uses stomp, does 21 damage. Slight poison. If I wake up, I can actually probably kill it. Ow. What's that gonna do? Six. Oh, it's throwing its heads at me. It's throwing its heads at me. Well, Plantorus, just wake up. Wake up, Plantorus, wake up, Plantorus, please, 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 wake up. Wake up, or this is not gonna end well. Come on. Plantorus! Oh, wait, I have the Poke Flute. Really should remember these things. But I'll give it one more turn to wake up on its own, because I need to heal that, or it's not... Or it's gonna get infected, and it's gonna get Poke Rust. And this is before Poke Rust was beneficial or anything. This is just back when Poke Rust didn't exist. Um, so, yeah. So it's gonna get infected by nothing. Um, Poke Flute. Good. Sends me to sleep straight away! Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week, Poke Flute. That's an adorable note. And it sent me to sleep straight away again! I think I figure out a way to kill it by poison! Make it run out of PP for hypnosis first, though. So I recognize that. Is it just me or does Hypnosis and the Poke Flute sound very similar? Yeah, it's like a slightly more metallic tone to Hypnosis. Is it maybe the same thing inverted? It's the same thing but with the note changes inverted. Yeah, I'd say it is. Obviously now use cut, and it does a crit. Oh my god, that is definitely the same tune. That is definitely the same tune, and just use stomp. Couldn't be hard using the poker flute, because it's gonna die by poison. It didn't die by po- it didn't die by poison. Disgusted. All sleeping Pokemon woke up. Of course they did. And death by poison. Boop. Oopsie. Sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. Right. There's only one way this can go, and that's up. Cloister. Water type. Hello. Name's Venusaur or Plantorus. And, of course, you know Ice-type moves. Ooh, I need to use a Hyper Potion. And now I have more revives than I do Hyper Potions. So, that's going to be a bit awkward. Did it really just crit me? It just crit me. And reduced my attack. Good thing I'm using special here. Um... It won't stop using Aurora Beam, will it? And it just crit me again. And it's super effective, but when it keeps critting... This is something I've noticed in the early games. It's like some sort of karma for healing. Uh, that most of the time, whenever you heal, it's like the game treats that health as temporary. It's like... Oh, you healed over half your HP. But, because you did that, we're going to think it's sort of like about half that value. Crit! Yes! Aha! And Plantorus is level 43. Uh, good. And let's try and learn Growth, which raises, like, attack and special attack. Do I need it? No. Abandon learning growth. 
Yeah. Yes. Did not learn growth. So, obviously, Avius is next. So, that's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, who's next? Arcanine. Fast Pokemon. Powerful Pokemon. The team's getting a little beat up over the course of this adventure. But I think we can take on these guys. As long as Avius like, stays out of the way of any big attacks. It's going to be able to take down this Arcanine nice and easy. As long as it avoids attacks like that takedown just there. Because look what that monster did to me. Look what that monster did to me. <sighs> and it used it again. Hopefully it won't crit. It didn't crit. It did like 40 damage. Why was I worried over 40 damage? And it just raised its attack. That's going to do a bit more <gasps> next time. Oh, great. But it got a crit fly, so down you go, Sunny. And Avius is not level 43, and it's been 20 minutes, guys. Just a couple of fights. Up a ladder. The rumors were true. You beat Giovanni of Team Rocket? Yeah. And I don't have room for items either, so I'm bows. Anyway, um, guys, what we're going to be doing next time is, most likely, we are going to complete Victory Road, or at the very least, we're going to do a lot more of it. So, um, I'll be seeing you guys next time. This is Monretro Gamer signing off again. See you next week.